in with fight number 10. Let's bring on the next fighter. He's 35 from Shirehampton. He's a climber in the daytime. But tonight, fighting out the red corner, it's Trello, the Pector. is the dominator Joe Pring plumber 35 years of age from Shirehampton the pit bull in the red corner and the dominator Dan Campbell the aerospace engineer from Wick 31 years of age and as you can see there as Peter Markland gives them their instructions nothing between them physically two in a row for the blue corner in the last two fights will this change or will the momentum continue well the pit bull has come out just like that swinging straight away and immediately forces the response from Campbell. The arms are flailing from both men and they immediately tie up. And our referee has to jump in in the corner and separate them. And just probably having a quiet word, say, calm down, let's get back behind our boxing and, and get back in. It's hard, you've got a big crowd, you've trained for just the 10 weeks, the adrenaline's going. It's understandable that you want to make a good impression. And often that means you come out of the blocks, all guns blazing. Good left hand there, though, from Pring coming forward and skips out of range of Campbell in the reply. Big right hand attempt from Campbell, though, as Pring comes forward. Pring just the better timing and accuracy at the moment, though, as he comes forward. Good right hand to the body. Clubbing attempts from Dan Campbell as Pring comes in, looks to his corner. Grimaces and then gets ready to go again. And again, that right hand just out of range. Big swing. If it landed, it's a knockout punch, but it didn't land. And it's the shorter combination work of Pring catching the eye at the moment. He's coming in, doing his work, and skipping away from that right hand, which is good because he gets caught by it, he'll know it. But at the moment, it's his work that's getting through. He's found the range the quicker of the two and racking up the points at the moment in this round one with little combinations like that and this time the right hand of Campbell it lands on his shoulder so he's getting close he's got to be careful Pring as he comes in like this because Campbell set out his stall as well he wants to land with that heavy right hand but Pring working well behind the jab focused Doubles the jab and throws the right hand, and he's having success with it here in the first round. And again, coming forward, landing his shots. Just got to keep that left hand high because the right hand of Campbell comes over the top. But at the end of that first round, you've got to say, a lot of effort by both men, but Pring the more accurate, found his range quicker, got his timing better and his accuracy. So I'm going red corner for that opening round. two or three and Campbell needs to find that range he needs to be half a step closer if he's going to land with impact that right hand that he's been threatening right through the first round Pring he's just got to do more of the same but keep that left hand high because if Campbell does find that range and that timing that right hand will come straight over the top so round two of potential three I've got Pring one to the good and this time it's a stiff jab attempt from Campbell that forces the pit bull straight into action throwing those short little combinations again that worked for him so well in the first. 
And while he's got his man on the back foot like that, worrying about defence, he's not thinking about the big right bomb, so it's a good tactic from Pring. Keep your man moving, keep him on the defence, keep him thinking. And that's what he's got to watch for, that big right hand over the top. It can be thrown instinctively, you don't have to see where your opponent is, you just throw it and hope. And if he throws it from the right angle and at the right range, it could cause problems. But at the moment, it's the only problem for Pring, who, who seems to be doing everything right here in the second. And again, pushing his man back, keeping his back against the ropes, picking his shots. And again, Pring doing the right thing, throwing the combinations, making Campbell think, making him defend, and while he's defending, he's not throwing his own leather or scoring his own points. So deep breaths from both men, but it's Pring coming forward again. Good stiff left to start that, then the right over the top. And again, as Campbell comes in, the stiff left catches him once more. And this is the problem for Campbell. You can see what he wants to do. You can see that big right hand thrown. But he's got to give more. He's got to set it up. He misses again with it. He's got to set it up with the jab. Got to move in. Can't be throwing it just on the defensive there when he's not really looking to see where his opponent is. And if anything, a more dominant round here in the second for Pring. Open mouth now, Campbell. Left of the body from Pring as he comes in. Good thinking work from the man in the red corner. Picking his shots nicely. And that big right from Campbell showed the fatigue. He bent over almost double after throwing it. And Pring gets back working with that stiff left that served him so well in the first round. And it served him well again in the second here. So I've got him two rounds to the good with just one to go, and really Campbell's only hope is to land that big right. But he's got to set it up first. He's got to have enough energy to make it impactful here in the third round. Pring, he's just got to stay out of trouble. So, third and final round, and it's quite simple. Pring stays out of trouble, Campbell gets the knockout. That's the only two things that can happen here. Campbell needs that big right hand to land and make it an equaliser. Pring just needs to do what he's done in the first two rounds. Stay focused, stop that right hand landing, and what he's doing here, picking his shots, coming in. That's what he's got to be wary of. Look at the big right hand attempts there from Campbell. It's right, he's got to go for broke. He's two rounds down. It's the right tactic. Pring's just got to make sure it doesn't land. Campbell will be looking for it the whole time, but Pring doing like he did in the first two rounds, keeping his man backed up, keeping him thinking about the shots that are being thrown. And when he's thinking this way, he can't be throwing that big right hand. It's good tactics from the man in the red corner. Short little uppercut, though, from Campbell. Still dangerous, but tired, tired right hand there. And a little uppercut caught him there, and suddenly another uppercut from Pring. Coming through with accurate shots now here in the third, setting up that right uppercut. Looking dangerous now, Pring. He's had two very good technical rounds. Now he's looking dangerous himself and could be forcing the stoppage here as Campbell really feels the pace now. But then he digs up something from somewhere and throws those big right hands. But Pring's having nothing of it, it pushes him back. Deep breaths from Campbell. He's been up against it all three rounds, looking for that big right hand. Again, just out of range is Pring after doing his work. He's done everything right here tonight. And looking to come in again, where as you can see, Campbell looking just to throw that big right hand as Pring comes in. Pring aware of it, does his work to the body and then the head and moves just out of range of the right hand. It's been frustrating for Campbell all night. He's not been able to land it cleanly or solidly. And it's made it a hard, hurtful night's work for him. So they look at each other, it's there. That is it, that is the final round. Pring puts his hands up, and I think rightly so. After two in a row for the blue, I think the red are gonna come back here in the 10th with another points decision well earned by Joe Pring.